Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you on how to get invisible arms and I will be making an outfit with this invisible arms and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? Getting good luck tomorrow and the rest of the week. Join the family, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. This glitch does work on all platforms so make your way to any clothing store on the map and once you're at the clothing store guys, make your way to the front counter. Go to the outfit section and you will need to find the scuba gear. So find the scuba gear outfit section and once you're there you can buy any scuba suit you want. It doesn't matter which one you purchase. If you do not have a lot of money purchase the cheapest one. But if you do purchase the black scuba gear one. After you purchase the black scuba or any scuba suit basically save this as an outfit. Go to body suits afterwards and buy the electric bodysuit equip it on and make your way over to the telescope so we could do a telescope glitch this part's very simple basically you just want to run past the telescope push right on the d-pad pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear off your character's head once you got the glitch correctly to work like this once you got the glitch correctly to work open up your interaction menu Go to style and click the saved outfit we made at the clothing store and walk away from the telescope and back out from the interaction menu and your outfit should look like this all glitched out. Once your outfit does look glitched out make your way over to the mask store. Alright guys so once you do arrive at the mask store you see where these t-shirts are at the mask store basically go to the t-shirt section and go down to vest. And once you're on vests, you can purchase any vest. If you do not have a lot of money, just purchase the cheapest one. It works on the majority of all vests. But if you do have money, purchase the black vest. Purchase this and make your way over to the exact same location I'm headed to. Make your way over to the water where it is next to the pier. So you see where the pier is? Make your way over to the water. So basically, once you're near the location I am exactly, you're going to want to walk directly into the water and you should have the scuba outfit like this on. Once you have the scuba suit on, basically hop on this little wooden pallet and open up your interaction menu and easy way out. Once you easy way out, you should be spawning with no arms like this. Once you got the glitch correctly to work. So basically all you want to do is just make your way to the mass store to save this as an outfit or the clothing store to save this as an outfit. So once you did save this as an outfit, basically make your way to any clothing store on the map. But if you're already at the clothing store, you just need to go to the pants section afterwards. So after you did save this as an outfit, make your way over to the pants section, go to jeans and purchase the midnight. You will need to purchase the deep blue fitted. It is called the deep blue fitted these. Purchase these and make your way over to the shoe section. We will need to buy some fresh shoes that will match this outfit. So guys, once you're at the shoe section, push right on the D-pad, scroll all the way down to Arena War Shoes, and make sure you do find the black and red light-ups. They are called the black and red light-ups. Purchase these and make your way over to the accessory side. So guys, once you're at the accessories, Go to gloves and purchase the black driving gloves and make your way over to the mask store. So once you do arrive at the mask store, push right on the d-pad at the mask store. You're basically going to save this as an outfit and you will need to find the section called headscarves. It is called the headscarves and the headscarf you do want to purchase. It is called a red pattern wrap. It matches the outfit. Trust me, it makes the outfit look really, really amazing. So purchase the red scarf wrapped. So after you purchase that, basically save this as an outfit one more time and back out from the mask store and move over where these hats are. So once you're at this little hat section inside of the mask store, you will need to find the combat helmet section. And you will need to go to the combat helmet and you will need to purchase a black and red quad lens. Once you've done that, basically back out from the mask store, apply the saved outfit we just made and make your way over to the pier so we could do a telescope glitch because there is a telescope right next to the pier. 
This part's very easy. If you haven't done the telescope glitch, it's very simple. So basically, you're going to want to run past the telescope, push right on the D-pad, pull away from the telescope, and your mask should disappear like this. Open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, cycle through the helmets till you find the black and red qualins we purchased at the mask store. Once you find it, back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your headscarf should be underneath your quad lens like this, all glitched out. Once it is all glitched out, make your way over back to the master and save this as an outfit at least one time. For this next part guys, you will need a terabyte. If you do not have a terabyte, you can always ask a friend or a stranger to call up his terabyte. You could do this solo and you could register as CEO or MC, it doesn't matter, but I recommend doing it through MC, it's a bit better. So request your terabyte. Once you do request your terabyte, basically enter your terabyte and go to this touchscreen device. So once you're on the touchscreen device, go to client jobs and start up the robbery in progress. Launch it and accept the alert. It doesn't matter where the duffel bag is located. So there is different locations where the duffel bag is. It doesn't matter which location it is. The duffel bag will still work for the glitch. And it doesn't matter if you do die during the mission or you do drop the duffel bag. The glitch will still work. So basically you want to find where the duffel bag is. And basically locate it and make your way over to the duffel bag location to go pick it up. So after you do locate the duffel bag, basically make your way over to the bank, kill off the police officers, the juggernaut, and the two bank robbers inside of the bank. And remember guys, it doesn't matter if you do die during the mission, the glitch will still work. So once you get rid of everyone, basically you want to enter the bank and pick up the black duffel bag. And once you pick up the black duffel bag, you can always lose the cops, um, just like trying to run away from the cops. I always call Lester. It's a bit more of a hassle to lose the cops. Just call up Lester and you can lose the cops. And once you do lose the cops, make your way over to the yellow drop-off point with a flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which flying vehicle you have, just make your way over to the yellow drop-off point, fly really high next to the drop-off point, jump out of your flying vehicle near the drop-off point, open up your parachute, and basically you're going to glide into the yellow drop-off point. It doesn't matter if you land directly in it or around it, just try to land in it as close as possible. But once you land in it or around it, you're basically your duffel bag should disappear like this. It's fine. Once it does disappear and you completed the job, make your way to the closest ammunition so we could purchase a parachute. This part's very, very simple. So once you're at the ammunition store, just basically walk inside of it. You will need to go to the front counter, push right on the D-pad and go to parachutes. So guys, once you're on parachutes, go to the parachute bag and scroll all the way down and purchase the Israel chute bag. It is a blue and white one. It is called the Israel chute bag. After you purchase that, back out from the counter and equip it on through your interaction menu. After you do equip it on, make your way over to the mass store with a flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which flying vehicle, you will need a flying vehicle for this part. On this last part guys, you will need to fly near the mass store with your flying vehicle, fly really high near the mass store. And this part might be kind of tricky to get for you new players on how to get the duffel bag. This part might be easy for you if you've done it. So basically fly near the mass store with a flying vehicle, jump out of your flying vehicle and basically you're going to glide into the mass door. Once you're gliding into the mass door guys, basically you want to tumble into the mass door. So you want your character to fall directly into the mass door. So you know where the masks are on top of the shelves? You would need to make your character to fall into the mass door right there. So once he does fall into the mass door, continue to spam right on the D-pad continuously till it opens up for you. So once it does open up for you, save this as an outfit one time, back out from the mass store and walk away from the mass store at least 10 or 15 feet away from the mass door. Once you did walk away from the mass store, open up your interaction menu, go to style and click the saved outfit we just made at the mass store and your black duffel bag should appear like this. And if you did mess up where you do get a parachute into the mass store, Basically just repeat the step with your flying vehicle, 
fly really high and continue to glide into the mast or save this as an outfit if you did mess up but if you did not mess up you will have this glitch correctly no arms a cool glitch invisible try hard duffel bag outfit but yeah guys if you're new here hit that subscribe button i do post outfits like this every single day give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new but yeah guys hopefully i did enjoy catch you on the next gta 5 online video peace